So you're an international student and you click this video because you want to be successful. Now success means a whole bunch of different things to a bunch of different people. So no matter what you want to be successful in, whether you want to achieve a 4.0 GPA, whether you want to get a job, whether you want to get your dream job the second you're out of school, or start at a part-time job and then move all the way up in the company, or even start your own business, this is what you're going to need to do. The first thing is, the answer to being successful is always easy. Never overcomplicate it and don't listen to motivators because they waste your time. Every single second you waste reading a book, okay, this is coming from somebody who just read 10 books in the past year, not year, I'm talking about since Christmas, um, and listen to a whole bunch of audiobooks until I finally realized, hey, because hey, I was able to like, you know, track my progress when I was doing these things, track my progress when I wasn't. If we're talking about pure success here, I mean like success coming to you in terms of income or financial gain or, um, you know, getting that person that you, you have that crush on or reading and information is not going to help you. If you're a doctor or historian or somebody who, you know, is really going to need to use facts and need to have a proper understanding of the world, then yeah, a, a rounded knowledge and knowing a little bit about everything is probably one of the most helpful things you could ever do. But let me give you a tip here. What I recommend you do is find out what you need to do to be successful on the thing you wanna be successful in. If you wanna lose weight, it's simple. Eat less exercise more and if you don't really know how much to eat you don't know how much to exercise you find those numbers then you figure it out so it's as simple as that tracking macros in that case with income same thing it's math how much do i need to be making a month to be making this amount in the year how much do i want to make in a year same thing with international students when they want to you know achieve a 4.0 gpa a 4.2 how what marks do i need how much do i need to study to you know achieve those grades and uh you know what is it going to take so those are some really important things that i recommend you do um first of all what you're going to do is just be consistent find out what you need to do and then just do it do it every single day like a crazy person the one day that you don't do it is the reason why you're not being successful. That's always the answer. Why didn't it work this time? Well, you skipped a day. Why didn't it work this time? Well, you cheated on a meal. Why didn't it work this time? Well, because you went out to party. That's always the answer. We're still in a day and age where if you do something consistently, fast enough, and crazy enough, the speed is important. And get good at doing it fast. You're going to suck doing things fast at you know the first little while. You write an essay in five minutes, it's gonna look like crap, you're gonna get a D minus and your teacher might fail you. But if you do that every single day for a year, you can write essays in five minutes. What I'm saying, obviously gear your research up, get your sources ready, yeah, but like, you can. And this is what's gonna put you ahead and once you write the first essay, write 10 more, okay? Do it straight away so you have all this time to edit maybe. If that's what it takes and do it write essays for fun every single day for five years that's what it takes to be to be successful it's all that work that you put in and applying for a job as an international student yeah apply to 20 jobs a day for a whole year you will get a job if you don't get a job this world's nuts you will get a job if you apply for 20 jobs a day. but that's crazy not i know it's crazy but are you willing to do that to achieve your dream Right now, the only reason why I'm not where I want to be is because I didn't do those things. There's no excuse, the answers are clear. See, you don't need decision fatigue. You don't need to throw your hands up in the air and say it's impossible or get confused. That's all it takes. The five minutes you spend like in the morning, like relaxing with your feet up is the five minutes. That could be the five minutes as to why you're not making it. And I'm not saying not to relax. I mean, I still try to strike a balance. I still get tired. I'm still a human being. I'm not on performance enhancing drugs and I'm not seriously intelligent. I, in fact, I consider myself average intelli intelligence or even, you know, even naturally below in some cases, especially in math. But, you know, it's the work that you put in that allows you to get where you want to go. So understand that. And before you ask me not, am I gonna get a job? Or am I going to, you know, if I move, Am I, is it, am I gonna be successful? Uh, is there opportunities? There are always opportunities, but you have to make it. Once you get here and you secure the math and you figure out how much you have to spend a month, you figure your grocery situation out, you apply for the paperwork, and you have a st stupid amount of output, you're going to be able to get whatever you want. And that's right now, we're at a time where it's not so competitive that you can still do that. 
In the future, you might have to use extremely superior brain power to be able to create the things that will achieve that success for you. But today, manpower still matters when combined with talent. In fact, if you can output enough manpower or woman power, whatever you want to call it, you can actually achieve anything. Okay? And that might not be the case forever. So start today and you'll achieve whatever you want.